Hi there, this is Newsround on Saturday afternoon. I'm Ricky with all your top stories. First up, and France have ended Wales's hopes of securing back-to-back -back Grand Slams. Last year, Wales beat every single team in the Six Nations, and the chance to do it again was shattered last night. I've been rounding up the action. It was the first match in the history of the Six Nations to be played on a Friday night, but that didn't do any favours for Wales. Wales were hoping for another win against France. The game started well, giving Wales a boost in confidence. Stephen Jones' passing led the team forward. Standing from Lieben. France came back strong. Their forward pounded the opposition, and Thierry de Sautois flexed his way in. For the first time in this tournament, Wales were on the back foot. France were keeping the ball as they demolished the Welsh defence. In the second half, Wells started to fall back. Even star player Shane Williams was slipping. That gave France the upper hand. They took control for the larger part of the second half. In the end, time ran out for Wells and their Grand Slam dreams disappeared too. Grand Slam has gone and that's, that's tough for us, but yeah, the, the championship's still definitely there. You know, we're obviously pretty down now, but um, you know, there's two more games left, which we got to perform well in. Now the French victory blows the tournament wide open. And the Six Nations action continues today. Scotland are about to kick off their match against Italy. And with neither team having won a game yet, this match could decide who gets the wooden spoon of the tournament. Later, England will take on the unbeaten Ireland, who are still aiming for a Grand Slam victory. Sticking with sport, and there's a few Premier League teams in action today. Everton and West Brom kicked off earlier. Everton took the points, winning the match 2-0. Arsenal take on Fulham, Chelsea are playing Wigan, and Middlesbrough are about to kick off against Liverpool. We'll have more on those matches just before 5 o'clock here on Newsround. Bushfires in Australia are still burning almost three weeks after the first blaze began. Reports of cooler temperatures in the state of Victoria, where most of the bushfires have been, should make it easier for firefighters to battle them. At least 210 people died in the fires, and experts reckon that hot weather and strong winds might return next week, increasing the threat of more fires. Next to a piece of Australia that's made its way here to the UK. Aussie rules football is a really big deal in Australia. Now it's said to be the fastest growing sport in the UK. The game is a mix of rugby, basketball and football. Clubs are popping up around the country as the game gets more and more popular and the England Aussie Rules team are the reigning European champions. So it could be coming to a school near you very soon. These kids in Newcastle are learning the new sport. You get a kick and passing, different ways of passing, like punching the ball instead of rugby like throwing it and in football like throwing it over with your arm. It's quite fun. It's really different from lots of sports because it's a mixture of lots of them. Now, have you ever wondered what the inside of a wave looks like? Well, check out these cool photographs showing just that. These images of the inside of breaking waves have been captured on camera by a surfing photographer to give a rare glimpse into the power of the sea. Photographer Clark Little swims in terrifying seas and crouches on shorelines with his waterproof camera to capture rarely seen views from inside a breaking wave. Clark reckons it's a pretty dangerous business and it's only experience that stops him from getting hurt. Now, they were told to do something funny for money, so a group of celebrities decided to climb Mount Kilimanjaro in Africa in the aid of comic relief. And now the group, including Cheryl Cole, Chris Moles and Gary Barlow, have arrived in Africa ahead of their big trek. The stars flew out from Heathrow Airport with a plane with its nose painted red for the occasion. And finally, to some showbiz news, fans of the veteran rock band U2 were treated to a surprise concert by the stars in London when the Irish group performed live from the roof of the BBC's broadcasting house. Loads of people gathered to watch as news of the spontaneous concert spread. Right, that is all from me. Newsround will be back with your next update at 5 to 5. Until then, you can keep up to date with all the latest top stories over on our website, where you can also vote for who you think is going to win in the Six Nations. I'll see you just before 5. Have a great afternoon. Bye-bye.